guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing a bunch of dump and go crock pot recipes. These were perfect for the past week because we are in the middle of a bathroom remodel. We're totally redoing our upstairs bedroom and turning it into a bathroom. So it has been chaos in this house and these crock pot meals were perfect, really simple and easy to throw together and also very delicious. So I think you'll enjoy all of these recipes. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I just want to say welcome. My name is Caitlin. I share a lot of really quick and easy recipes, lots of crock pot dinners, meal prep, and other motherhood related content. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed. But let's go ahead and get into all of these crock pot dinner ideas. For this first dinner, I'm making a cream cheese chicken chili. This is definitely a favorite of ours and super easy to put together. So I'm starting off with my large crock pot and just spraying that with a little bit of oil. And then I'm adding in my chicken breasts. So for me, I like to use about two to three chicken breasts for this recipe. Mine were frozen. And then I'm adding in one can of corn that I had drained off one can of black beans that was drained and rinsed. And then I'm also adding in one can of Rotel tomatoes here. For seasonings, I'm adding in about a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of onion powder. And then I'm also adding in about a tablespoon of some chili powder. And then you're gonna want a packet of ranch seasoning mix. I will usually just use the great value one. It's a little bit cheaper. And then here is about a cup of some chicken broth. Now the recipe actually does not call for any broth, but I definitely feel like it needs it if you want it to be a little bit more on the liquidy side and a little bit more soupy I definitely would recommend adding the one cup of some chicken broth here I'm just giving that a quick mix together and then I'm adding on a block of some cream cheese you're just gonna put this right on top and then you're gonna cook this on low for about seven hours or on high for about three after my chicken had fully cooked through, I'm just taking a wooden spoon and I'm taking the cream cheese on top and stirring it into the rest of the soup. Now the chicken totally shredded up when I did this so I didn't even need to take a fork and shred it up. Otherwise you can pull the chicken out and shred it with a hand mixer or two forks. I did decide to add in a little bit of extra chicken broth. I added in probably about half a cup here just because I wanted mine to be a little bit on the thinner side but that is just personal preference. I'm giving that a good mix together. This soup is really really quick and easy and very creamy and delicious I definitely love this one you can top it with a little bit of cheese and bacon if you want to but otherwise it really is good just like this too for this next dinner, I'm making some buffalo chicken subs, and you guys, these were so good. Definitely one of my favorites that I've made in the crock pot. So I'm just starting off by spraying my crock pot with some oil, and then I'm adding my chicken breast right in there. So for this recipe, I used about three large chicken breasts, and then I'm just gonna be topping it with my favorite buffalo sauce. This is just the great value medium wing sauce. I really like this one. I'm gonna add about half a cup in there. If you want it to be a little bit spicier, you can add more, or you can add a little bit less depending on your family's preferences. This was definitely not too spicy for my kids at all. So I'm adding that sauce in there and then I'm also adding in about a tablespoon of just some ranch seasoning mix. I'm gonna cook this on high for about four hours and then once it's done, I will get it all shredded up. Once my chicken had fully cooked through, I'm just taking two forks and shredding that up. You can also use a hand mixer for this if you want, and that will give you a more finely shredded chicken. But I wanted my chicken a little bit on the chunkier side, so I just chose to use the two forks on this day, and it worked absolutely perfect for this recipe. But definitely shred it up however much that you want. And then you're gonna get all of your veggies prepped and ready to go. So I chose to use cucumbers, we have some lettuce, some tomatoes, as well as some peppers. You can definitely pull any any of the veggies that you want for this sub. Whatever you love, get that prepped and ready to go. And then we're gonna assemble our sub. So for this sub bun, I'm just using the ones from Walmart. I really like these buns. I always get them whenever we're doing subs. They're really, really soft and delicious. So I'm just adding some of that chicken on there. I did not put a ton on mine just because I didn't want it to be too spicy. My husband added more to his. And then I'm adding on some cheddar cheese as well as a little sport of ranch. You could also do mayo or blue cheese and then I'm just topping it with all of those fresh veggies and this was so so good you guys it was very refreshing and delicious and you could also toast these if you want to like in the air fryer pop them in your oven before you add your veggies in there you could definitely toast these but I just wanted my bun really really nice and soft and we absolutely love this dinner this is the first time that I've ever made these subs and I'll definitely be making them again our whole family really enjoyed them
For this next dinner, I'm making some chicken tacos. Now I have made a lot of chicken tacos in the crock pot and this was a really, really good recipe. They turned out really juicy and delicious. So I definitely recommend this one. So I'm starting off by adding in one can of Rotel tomatoes. And then I'm also adding in one cup of some salsa. I did choose to use the mild, but you can do a spicier salsa if you want to. And then I'm also adding in one packet of some taco seasoning mix. You can definitely mix up your own if you want to, but I chose to use the kind from the store. Store. and then this is about half of an onion that I had diced up definitely make sure you have it chopped up pretty well so that none of the pieces are too big and that will fully cook through I'm just giving this a good mix together before adding in my chicken so for my chicken in this recipe you're gonna want about three to four chicken breasts just depending on the size and that should be perfect you should be able to use fresh or frozen here mine were fresh and then I'm just taking some of that salsa and the sauce mixture and kind of spreading it right on top of the chicken breast so that those won't dry out. And then I'm gonna cook this on high for about three to four hours. After my tacos had cooked through, I just shredded the chicken up with two forks and then I'm ready to assemble my tacos. So here I just have two flour tortillas. I'm adding on some sour cream and I'm just gonna make my tacos. So you can totally add whatever veggies that you want here. I chose to add the chicken on there first and then I topped it with a little bit of shredded cheese as well as some tomatoes and some peppers. And then I'm totally laughing because I realized that I forgot to add the lettuce on there. I had washed lettuce and I totally forgot to add it onto my tacos. So definitely would recommend to add some lettuce on there as well, but these were really really good tacos They definitely weren't too spicy, but they had so much flavor and they were really really nice and juicy The chicken was delicious. I definitely think you guys would like these For this next dinner, I'm making a taco pasta. This one turned out so good and it was also very hearty and very family friendly. So if you have young kids, I think they would really like this one. Very easy to put together. I'm just spraying my crock pot to start off and then I'm adding in one pound of cooked up lean ground beef. Definitely make sure that's cooked all the way. You're gonna want one can of corn or you can also use frozen like I did. And then you're gonna want a can of some crushed tomatoes. You're gonna want like a 15 ounce can or I just used half of the bigger one and then here is one chopped up bell pepper one cup of some salsa I chose to use the mild kind again not to make it too spicy for my kids and then here is one packet of some taco seasoning mix again you can definitely use your homemade kind if you want and then this is about two and a half cups of some low sodium chicken broth or you can also use water is what the recipe said and then I did add a little bit of salt and pepper in there not too much and then you're just gonna go ahead add a little bit of garlic powder or any other extra seasonings that you want give this a stir together and then you're just gonna cook this on high for about three to four hours just until it's nice and warm now after this was completely cooked through, I'm gonna be able to add my pasta right in here. The recipe called for about 12 ounces of this pasta, which is about three quarters of the box of shells. I'm just gonna stir that right in there. And then the recipe said to cook it for about 10 to 20 minutes. It's just gonna depend on your crock pot, but you do want to cook it on high. Mine took about 15 minutes. Once it was fully cooked through, I'm adding in one cup of some cheddar cheese, mixing that in there just until it melts. And then that is it for this pasta dish. It was really really easy my kids love this one very very family friendly for sure as well as very budget friendly really delicious I think you guys would enjoy it For this next dinner, I'm making some chicken thighs, which might sound super basic, but these turned out really good. They were very well seasoned, perfect to pair with a potato and a veggie on the side. We absolutely loved these chicken thighs. They were very juicy and flavorful. So I'm starting off with about six to eight chicken thighs. Mine were boneless and skinless, but you can definitely do whatever you want and do skins on with bones, whatever you prefer. And then I'm just gonna load all of these up with lots of seasonings. So I'm gonna have this recipe link down below so it's really easy for you guys to follow along with way easier than listening to all of my measurements but I'll tell you what I put on so I'm adding on some parsley some garlic powder as well as some salt black pepper onion powder and paprika 
Like I said, the recipe will be linked down below. You can mix them up in a little bowl beforehand if you want, but I just was to sprinkle everything right on top and the seasonings here were absolutely perfect. I would ended up just adding on some chicken broth. The recipe said about a quarter cup. I used about half a cup just because I wanted mine to stay really juicy, but I just did that around the sides to make sure that the seasonings all stayed on. And then I cooked these on high for about three to four hours and they turned out so good. They were very juicy and had a ton of flavor. My kids absolutely loved them. Well, that is going to wrap up today's crock pot video. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I share a lot of really quick and easy recipes on my channel, lots of crock pot dinners, meal prep, and other motherhood related content. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed and I will catch you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, it feels we're mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care.